Hello everyone, happy Halloween, and welcome to my reaction to Chainsaw Man Chapter 147, titled Cremation. Now, uh, as I've seen some people bring up, Byron probably gets a power boost from the Fire Devil becoming stronger, from people being afraid of flames, because he's the Flamethrower Devil. So, you know, he's kind of like a subsidiary devil? Um, I'd be curious as to how, well, you know, if his power is fire... And he is a devil that takes power from fear. Then yeah, presumably, you know, actually, I haven't thought about it before. It is interesting to think about how devils whose uh, names are connected to other fears, larger fears, more primal fears, sort of get power by extension from those concepts having more people be afraid of them. So he's probably a bit stronger now, who knows? Um, but, you know, before we get into this week's reaction, as always, if you haven't already, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. I'd like to try and hit at least 100 likes on this week's reaction. Now then, without any further ado, let's get right into the chapter, shall we? Let's see here. Bingo! Leave it to the former Makima to figure it out. Wow, you're like the first person to say that. Good job. Chapter 147, Cremation. So you see, Chainsaw Man, we can't afford to have you chicken out. We need you to go wild like you used to. Denji, Denji's giving him that stare. Just the... Baron, he's smug, he's happy. Chainsaw Man has spoken to me with a revelation. That little girl is a witch. A witch who will one day plunge the world into darkness. Say what? Yeah, I know, right, guys? Kill her. Yeah, well, Denji, you're going to be forced to make a choice. No, the fuck you won't. Hey, Quan Chi. Thanks, Quan Chi. Appreciate it. Ugh. Yeah, she just says picking everyone up. Quan Chi? Uh-huh. Oh, and then she just fucking leaps off the building with... All three of these people. Oh, did something hit her? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. She, she fucking... Oh, God, I've forgotten her name again. Oh, shit. Uh, the, the, the one I don't like, you know, the, the sexual assault devil. She takes a fucking bite out of her side. Don't, don't fucking blush at that. Uh, because as they land, her legs, you know, her lower half just, like, fucking implodes from the impact. But then she just immediately heals from consuming the blood. And now all the chainsaw men are running after her, and then, you know, she's Quan Chi. So, she just gets up, and then just leaps off, and they're all just diced to pieces. God, you're so fucking cool. Sheesh! She's like a manga character come to life. Well, you know, that's because uh, that's what she is. <laughs> oh, God, you're just the best, Quan Chi. You're so fucking cool. You are just the, the coolest person in this series by a mile. What the hell? Now we see Devil Hunters fighting all the chainsaw people, using their contracts to kill them. You got a building burning down. All these dead people getting laid out in the middle of the road. Oh, and then they start immolating them. Oh, wait, I think that might be... No, that's not separate. That's not Devil Hunters laying those people out. They're just laying them out and lighting them on fire. We got a cop car here. This is a mass devil outbreak. Those who have taken the devil extermination exam, please assist with the suppression efforts. <sighs> oh, wait, no. I think they may just be... Are they just burning the dead devil people? I don't know. Is burning the bodies really necessary? As long as they have blood, these pseudo chainsaw men can revive with one pull of the starter in their chest. Wait, did they all have that? Oh wait, then the the club president's uh, starter might not be fake. Hmm. This is the simplest way to get rid of them. Yeah, I suppose it is. This guy points at him. I know him. He's a Chainsaw Man wannabe, too. Excuse me. Fuck you, old man. Kiss my ass. Man, that was a really quick chapter. That was a really quick read. Oh my god, and we don't get the next one for another two weeks? Sheesh. You're killing me here, Fujimoto. Well, you know. 
It was a neat little chapter, neat little action chapter. But, um, not really much happened in it. You, you just had Quan Chi doing what Quan Chi does, and then it was just, uh, over. You see, I think part two really suffers from being a, uh, a weekly manga. Qu a a pseudo-weekly manga. Um, in that, while the chapter length is, like, totally fine, I mean, we've got, like, a, eh, it's a bit on the shorter side, you know, it's just a 15-page chapter, but, you know, I'm making manga's a lot of work. Um, it's really not working with the pacing. We, we get weeks in which just not really much of anything happens. And then, um, we get breaks. So then we just have long stretches of time in which it just feels like not really anything is happening in the series. Like, that was the problem we had for the last several months, uh, before, you know, the other hybrids showed back up, is just, we had chapter after chapter, in which you have, like, a little bit of character stuff going on, but not really anything that's particularly interesting or thought-provoking or emotional. It's just kind of happening, because it's not big major stuff. Um, it's kind of doing slow burn. Slow burn doesn't really work when you're being drip-fed the series week by week with breaks in between. It just... It, it's a bit of an issue, you know? Uh, I've been thinking about that for a while. I know a lot of other people have been thinking about that for quite some time. That's why a lot of people are just not really feeling Chainsaw Man the same anymore. Um, I mean, it's still good, but just it, it doesn't have that same kick to it a lot of the time that it had for uh, a lot of part one. I mean, I caught up on part one when the International Assassin's Arc ended, so, you know, there wasn't that much of part one left by the time I caught up and was reading weekly, but it still felt like every chapter at that point was really important, which, you know, to be fair, it was like the final act of part one, but there there weren't really chapters in which it just felt like nothing happened. Even the, the slice of life chapters were just really nice. They were very poignant. And, uh, I don't think that's been the case with most of these. We've had a few. The ones where Denji gets really introspective are the ones that are good. Um, but a lot of the other ones where they're just kind of interacting with some of the side characters who are just not really anything, they're just not that interesting. And as a result, the payoffs for these breaks that we get are kind of, you know, a little uh, underwhelming. But what do you guys think? sure to let me know down in the comments because with that that's all i've got for this week's reaction if you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads i do chainsaw man chapter reactions every week that we get a new chapter if you enjoy discussing chainsaw man with other people or you guys enjoy the content i produce on this channel i highly suggest you check out my discord server i have a link to that down in the description thanks for watching i'll see you guys around take care